Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome to today's Wild Rift video. Sorry I haven't uploaded in pretty much a week now. I've been really, really busy over the past week. We've had a Rising Cup co-streams that I've been doing pretty much every single day. Excel content as well. There's been a bunch of stuff happening in the world of Wild Rift. But we're back to take a look at some of the builds over the next few days of what we've been seeing in Wild Rift and how kind of the meta has evolved. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Lucian and kind of a new build that the Chinese players have been playing, also LATAM as well at the same time. Now, with this build, I don't really enjoy the build personally. I feel like it definitely lacks on the damage side. But it can work against a lot of bruisers and if you're against a lot of tanks. You have Blade Rune King as your first item. Blade Rune King does have a bit of attack damage, does have a lot of attack speed as well. The reason why this is go so good against tanks is you deal bonus physical damage equal to 6% of the enemy's current health on hit. Which is really, really good against champions that build a lot of health, build a lot of, you know tankiness at the same time as well which is really really nice and you also have the drain effect as well with this lucian build you're also you know able to with three separate attacks or abilities you're able to steal 25 percent of their movement speed so you can kite around a lot more as well it, this allows you to either peel back or go forward as well to try and chase down enemies so it can work it was a good item before solari charge blade was a thing but obviously there is a reason why, you know, the Chinese and Latin players are still building this item on him. Then you have Black Cleaver as a second item. Now I will say that Blade Ring King and Black Cleaver are both really good items. You see this a lot on top lane champions like Renekton, like even um, Riven as well as another champion, Darius as well. Probably not so much Blade and Rune King, but it can work at the same time as well. Just because they both items just work hand in hand really, really well. With Black Cleaver, you have the health, you have the extra attack damage now since the buffs as well. And you also have the extra ability haste as well. Uh, Sunderer passive as well, dealing physical damage to champions, reduce their armor by 5% for 6 seconds. Stacking 5 times for a 25% reduction. So again, helping you against some tanks, you know, against some champions that build a lot of armor. There's a lot of GAs on the other side, Thornmail, Randwins, you know, anything that you can think of that has armor, it will be good to build Black Cleaver. Then for boots, you have lucidity boots. Most of the time in the Horizon Cup, you've seen a lot of stasis effect. Stasis effect is really, really good. Against the bruises, again, I like to dive onto Renekton, Darius. You know, I'm going to keep repeating the same thing over and over again because that's kind of been the main priority of the Horizon Cup is this Renekton first pick. Yours, Rivens, Darius. You name it in the top lane, they've got it. And life as an ADC main is not so fun. <laughs> then... After the two items, the two core items, plus your boots, you've got Serrader's Grudge. This item is still really, really good. It applies a slow from the icy passive. You get the armor penetration. You have a lot of attack damage and you have ability haste as well. So this item is still really, really good whatever build you go. Then you have the Guardian Angel to keep you alive. Kind of at this point of the game, you will pretty much get to your full build. Most of the time, you will not get to your um, fifth and final item most of the time you only have four items complete That's why I don't have an item in the fifth item because not only most of the time do you not get to the item But we haven't actually seen a four item Lucian build in the horizon cup with um, this kind of build Probably as a last item I would most likely think that they would maybe build something like a death stance because they're obviously going for this more I would say tanky sort of Lucian build where you're going for more, you know utility and more um more penetrating you know armor and health i would say the death stance actually works pretty well in this build as well it's kind of more of like a a bruiser sort of um lucian build if you think about it with lady and king black cleavers rager's grudge ga as well it's kind of more of this bruiser lucian build but it's quite interesting so black uh death stance will probably be built as the last item if we do see it. we'll have to see over the next few days for the horizon cup but i'm not really too sure what last item would be but i thought i'd show you what I would probably pick as a last item. For the runes, Concraft, still the go-to rune on Lucian. This hasn't changed at all. Still the go-to rune on most champions, to be honest. Let me just quickly cancel that and turn my notifications off so I don't get caught out again. Um, but yeah, Concraft's still the best rune at the moment. It's still really, really powerful, really, really strong. Hunter Vampirism as well. Seems like most of the time, I would say that they were building Hunter Vampirism. Obviously, we don't know in the Horizon Cut what runes um, people have been going, like rune 2, 3, and 4. We know their main rune, their core rune. We know what runes they've been going the whole time, which you know is obviously Conqueror. Um, we have been seeing a lot of bone plating. 
And the reason why I know this is because you see the little visual effect on bone plating. And I think there was like multiple games where I saw AD carries, both both of them having bone plating visual effects on them. So obviously bone plating is quite a popular pick down in the bot lane. Now, the main benefit of bone plating is again blocking as it says there, the combo damage, blocking damage from champions like Renekton, Darius, Riven. Again, I'm going to rename them again. But it does help you a lot against them. Now, the only problem is, is that it does have a really, really long cooldown. So you have to make sure you play around that cooldown and make sure you understand that when this cooldown is down, you'll kind of be as squishy or you'll be quite squishy compared to if you do have it up. There's a little um, icon at the bottom of your screen, which will show you. Um, it will show you... Uh, how long you have left until bone plating is back up. So that's really important to keep an eye on that. And last one is Sweet Tooth. I would be very surprised if champions, um, if Horizon Cup um, people were not, uh, players, sorry, would, is not running Sweet Tooth. I still think Sweet Tooth is a go-to third rune or fourth rune, if you want to call it that. Um, again, increases honey fruit healing, gives you gold as well. Just a really, really good rune. Now, the one other thing I wanted to mention in this video I'll probably mention this every single video as well if you watch the other guys that I'll be doing as well. We have been seeing a lot, and I mean a lot, of heal bot lane supports now. I mean, um, AD carries now. Because the supports are now going Ignite, they're now going Exhaust, they're seeing now the benefits of Exhaust. Which again, against these bruises, Ecton, Riven, Diana as well, you know. Exhaust is really, really powerful. Renekton, versus, um, Renekton uses Ultimate. You know straight away, when Renekton uses Ultimate, he's going to dash in. Riven, when he, she's going to use his ultimate, she's going to dash in. Diana, when she jumps in, she's going to use his ultimate. You know, you know, kind of, you can kind of predict when these champions are going to engage. So, exhaust on support champions is really, really strong at the moment. Ignite as well, with these more heavy engaged supports, like Alistar, we've been seeing quite a lot. Rakan, we've been seeing quite a lot as well. You know, champions that want to be heavy engaged, go in, be, you know, be proactive and be the ones that want to engage the team fights. We're seeing quite a lot of Ignites, which is... Kind of interesting, to be fair. Um, I would probably would have expected to see more Barry Hill, to be fair, just because the combo is still really, really strong. I feel like Exhaust is okay, you know, against certain matchups. Um, I still think Barry uh, Barry Hill is the best if you have like an Enchanter support, like Nami, like Janar, like um, like even uh, Lulu as well. But we haven't really been seen a lot of Enchanter supports really in Horizon Cup. You got a few here and there, but Mostly, we've been seeing Rakan, we've been seeing Thresh, we've been seeing Alistar. We've been, again, seeing these more proactive supports because of these team fights and all these crazy, you know, shenanigans that are happening during this tournament. But, yeah, it's, it's quite nice to see, to be fair. It's quite nice to see a shift of the meta. Again, a shift of the build as well, with the Lucian build as well. As I said, I will be covering more builds, more ADC builds over the next few days. If you saw my streams, you'll be seeing that I've been playing these builds and I'll be showing you guys content on these builds as well. And yeah, as always, hopefully you enjoy the gameplay that I'm about to show you. It's going to be a gameplay of this build. As I said, I don't think it's going to be the most interesting game and the most interesting build. But I thought I'd give it a try because, you know, like I said, there is a reason why these um, pro players are actually building these items. There will be a reason. So I wanted to give it a try. It did work out pretty well in the end. And yeah, as always, take care. Enjoy the gameplay. And I will see you all in the next Wild Rift video. Take care. Peace.